All right, how did this guy fake being destroyed lonely and Ken Carson's manager? All right, so I don't even really know where to start with this one, to be honest. Um, this is kind of a spontaneous video, but I just, this happened today and I have to make a video about it and tell you guys what happened. So in order for this to make sense, I have to start from this first post that I did on the Instagram, which if you don't follow, you should definitely go follow already. It's some banger content on it. But anyways, it all started when I found this girl, her name is is a I, I don't know if i pronounced it correctly but anyways i came across this account and i was just like looking through the story highlights she has and she since deleted them damn i wish i screenshotted it but she deleted them and she had a story highlight for like literally and when i say literally i mean literally like every industry artist ever like SZA, juice world the weekend like everybody bro it was crazy so i was like all right if she had really did do all this like I have to do some research. So she claimed that she mix and mastered for all these artists. And like I said, she since deleted them off of her story highlights since I posted on Instagram, but the Don Tolliver album is still up. So I kind of thought she was capping like right when I saw her Instagram. And so producer culture, shout out to them. They posted this uh, post said like, you know, the credits of who produced on it and who mix and mastered it. And in their post, it said her and this other guy. So I hit up this other guy. His name is Joe Laporta. Shout out to him. He, you know, he's a known mastering engineer. He's done a lot of work, you know, on Juice World and Young Thug stuff and Future and, and a ton of different things. Anyways, so I hit his DM and I was like, yo, bro, quick question. Did Mix and Master on the Don Tolliver album with you? And he said, nope. And I was like, all right, well, then that's all the confirmation I need. You know, she's capping. She's lying. I knew it. And I already thought this was kind of weird just because I had like no mutuals with her. Anyway, so I make the post, Iza allegedly lying about mastering the new Don Tolliver album, and of course, you know, everybody's in the comments saying what I thought they were going to say. And like I said, super spontaneous video, but after I made this post, um, I was going through my DMs, you know, just seeing what people were saying, and I came across this one DM, and here's what he said. So his name is, oh my god, I'm, I'm definitely going to say this wrong. His name is Hijal Mar. I don't know. I said that wrong. I'm sorry. But yeah, here's a gram. Right when I saw this account, I was like, yo, like this is so like uh, it, it looked similar to her account. And, you know, just based off of what he said, it's just all right, here's what he said. She did the mastering, though. It's in the official metadata that labels got. Perhaps her and Laporta didn't work together. She probably got requests from Cactus Jack Atlantic Records to improve the mastering before release or something like that. I can check up on my guys from Atlanta Records about how she got that placement because she literally in the official metadata, not genius, lol. And you can see my response here. I pretty much just said, you're capping. Are you serious right now? You don't manage Lonely or Ken Carson. Nobody knows you. You're lying. Whatever. So here's where we get to the, the crazy part. So I've seen this account, bro. And first off, like, let's just look at the bio, right? She says, I mean, I mean, he says, management ken carson destroy lonely and then right under it this is where it just blows my mind i'm gonna get into the backstories if you're not as familiar with music and labels and stuff like that but right under it, it says interscope xo and then this has a link to yeet and then so i'm just like dude like this doesn't make any sense so it doesn't make any sense right off the rip i'm like we have no mutuals like this is just looking weird to me no posts everything so here's destroy lonely's actual manager as you can see, we have mutual. She's pretty, I mean, you know, this is this is literally in his manager. Like, it, she's in the opium shit and everything. Like, she's super fire. So, he's obviously lying. Like, this guy does not manage Destroy Lonely or Ken Carson. And here is Ken Carson's actual manager, Michi. As you can see, a lot of mutuals, you know, he's known. A lot of people know him. He's credible. Whatever. So, it's just, like, mind-blowing to me how this guy, like, his bio, he can even put that and expect people to, like, believe it, you know? Like, the other part that makes no sense to me is, I can break it down, but he has Interscope and EXO right next to each other as he has Ken Carson and Destroy Lonely above it. Pretty much, like, having all of these tied into one just doesn't make any sense and can't really work together. So EXO is a Canadian record label co-founded by The Weeknd. It's pretty known. Nav reps it a lot. Um, it's, a, it's a big label. Anyway, the reason why this doesn't work together is because EXO is a part of Republic. With that being said, Destroy Lonely and Ken Carson, who this guy claims to manage, is a party of Opium, who's under Enderscope. And anyways, 
This just doesn't make any sense because EXO being Republic and Opium, pretty much EXO and Opium are just two completely different things. And pretty much this just wouldn't make any sense because EXO and Opium are just two different things. Like it wouldn't make sense for a manager who's managing Destroy Lonely and Ken Carson under Opium to also be affiliated with EXO in a heavy way. And this is just like off the rip what I was seeing in the account. It just made no sense. I mean, this could happen situationally, but likely not. So the next thing that we can just look guy real quick is this dude's story highlights so if we just click on this i'm gonna put up a screen recording of me just tapping through them but and this is all allegedly like this could be his actual story highlights don't get me wrong but i would i would say they're probably not like it, while i'm tapping through them just look how a lot of them are blurry it just seems like he stole them from somebody and if he really was around all these people all the time he would likely have more mutuals with me and you know he would have a post up and he would be followed by some more notable names and I'm no master at finding fake accounts, although I do have experience. But this dude's story highlights, it just looks a little shady to me. You know, like I said, a lot of them look a little blurry, look like they could have been screen recorded off somebody else's. And if I was a really good reporter, I would, you know, dive deep and find where they actually came from. But it's late. I got school tomorrow. But I think the message of this video and the story just needs to be, you know, you can't believe everything you see online. Anybody can make an Instagram account, run up some followers, say they're managing whoever and they're signed to whoever. But at the end of the day, we just have to be smart as to who we work with and who we believe. Just do your research. I mean, this guy's bio obviously doesn't make any sense. And, you know, the Instagram saw it first. So go follow the Instagram at Produce Spotlight. Anyways, I'm going to see you on the next one. Subscribe for more content.